we're going to go over why you should refinance your home and uh, do you mind? And we're going to start right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Wait a minute, the traditional way of thinking is to pay down your mortgage as fast as possible so you can be debt free. Now you're telling me to refinance and make my mortgage even bigger? I know this is strange, especially coming from a mortgage broker where I get compensated for doing mortgages. But hear me out. Clients are doing refinances because it makes sense and it builds wealth. One of the problems, especially in Vancouver, is that if you are a homeowner, you're actually very rich, but you don't get access to your money unless if you sell your home. But then you don't want to sell your home or else you won't have a place to live. So it seems like your money is just going into this black hole and you can't get access to it unless if you sell. This is where refinancing your mortgage can help you get access to your equity. Generally, we will appraise your existing property and can borrow up to 80% of that value. So if you have only say 30% of the current value left in your mortgage, we can inject about 50% of new funds in your account. But why would you want to do that? Well, there has to be a plan. What are you planning to use the money for? That's one question to ask. But another even more important question to ask is, if I borrow this money at say no, 4%, how can I get a return that's at least 7%? That way you can build your wealth and profit from the difference between 7 and 4%. Here are some ideas that you can consider that can potentially make you at least 7%. Buy an investment property. If you live in Vancouver, you know the market can easily make a return of 7% annually. The best part of this strategy is that since it is a second property and if it appreciates in the future, cash out and you can still have your existing home to live in. The second way is investing in the stock market. This is a little bit more complicated if you are not familiar with the stock market. So you may want to speak to an investment advisor. But if you invest in a balanced portfolio and held it long term, an average return of 8 to 10% is definitely achievable. Number three is home renovations. If you do plan on selling your existing home, investing some money in renovating your kitchen and bathroom may increase the value of your home and help it sell faster. This may not be necessary in a super hot market where people are bidding like crazy, but in a slower and well-balanced market, it does make your home stand out and buyers love buying homes that are move-in ready and they'll be willing to pay a premium for it. These are the three most common reasons for a refinance. And I'm sure there are more out there. The bottom line is to make sure you use the new funds to generate a higher return than what you're borrowing the money for. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage, and we are always achieving your approval. All right, go, go, go.